Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. As some of you might have heard, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court has just ruled, uh, unfortunately, in favor of Trump's new public charge rules. And I just want to clarify, first of all, what uh, more or less the ruling is, what the procedures are, and what you need to look out for at the present time. So let me just uh, start by giving a brief history. So pretty much what happened is Trump issued uh, many more regulations and restrictions on public charge rules for those who want to become lawful permanent residents. And for all intents and purposes, what public charge means is if one becomes a public charge, then they go on government assistance and the government helps them in some manner. So before uh, Trump issued these new regulations, um, there were certain uh, benefits which immigrants were not supposed to have in order to show that they would become a public charge. However, uh, what Trump did is he expanded it uh, considerably. And uh, of course, it went to court and you know, ultimately, the appellate court issued a nationwide injunction stopping it from going into effect. Uh, and then that injunction was taken up to the U.S. Supreme Court, which then overruled the injunction and let it go forward. So what does that mean? So what that means is that the merits of the the new regulations are still in court. They're still being decided. The briefs are still being done. There's still going to be oral argument. There's still going to be decisions that are made and so forth. And that's going to take uh, several months. Okay, that will take a while. Um, but just on the injunction issue, and, and what an injunction is, is it either stops or let's go forward. It basically keeps the status quo or it changes it um, in some manner as ordered by the court. So when Trump issued the regulations and essentially said all these are going to go into effect, uh, you know, there were, all the lawsuits were brought and the appellate court issued the order saying, nope, you are not going to go and do these regulations at this time. We're going to let it go through the courts, let a decision be made on whether or not the regulations are legal or not. And then ultimately when a final decision is made, then it can either go in effect or not go in effect. So it's the injunction that is the issue here. And a lot of people think because the Supreme Court ruled as they did that, you know, until the end of time now, uh, the new uh, regulations, the new more expansive regulations are going to go into effect and nothing will ever stop it. And that's not the case. They just allowed the injunction to be lifted so that right now, the regulations go into effect. Uh, but ultimately, when a decision's made, um, that may reverse that. Um, and of course, that may go up on appeal. It's all kinds of stuff that might happen. But for the, for the current time, um, they will be going into effect. And I have lots of clients who call and say, well, is it OK? Um, you know, I, I applied for this or I applied for that. And um, you know, I want to get my green card. Is it okay if I go on Medicaid or, you know, if I get some food stamps or, or whatever it is? Um, well, here's the thing. Um, at the present time, if you can avoid going on any kind of assistance from the government, uh, of course, prior to getting your green card, that would be preferable because they're going to do everything they can to try to invalidate your application because they will claim you're a public charge. And even if it's ultimately defeated, you don't want to be in this window of time where you're going to have to either get a denial and appeal it or do motions to reopen. You want to be able to go forward and uh, get the green card in a manner that uh, the law allows under the present situation.
So, uh, you know, you can go ahead and, and give my office a call and, and ask if it's okay if you go on this or that type of government program, but I can pretty much assure you that as it stands right now, it is likely you shouldn't uh, in order to bolster your claim that you will not become a public charge and you will be eligible uh, to go forward. Um, I mean, these these regulations, they just fly in the face of the law. Like, for example, um, you have uh, someone who was granted asylum, and then a year later they can file uh, for their lawful permanent residency for you know them, their spouse, their kids. Um, and uh, you know, prior to all these regulations, of course, you know, public charge was not a ground of inadmissibility for someone who applied for asylum uh, because. You know, a lot of people who come here and apply for asylum, they don't have a penny in their pocket, but they, you know, don't want to be persecuted in their home country either. So if they're granted asylum, why should these new public charge rules make it so they're ineligible to get the green card? It just doesn't make sense. And I think ultimately when it goes through the courts, uh, you know, the regulations will be shown to be overbroad and uh, a good deal of them will be struck down. Um, but again, these are the type of issues that now we have to deal with. So if you like the, the video, click like, subscribe, and more on the coming videos. Thank you.